What's up, there, you guys? Your man Joe came around just to found that you need to know. So today, uh, I want to talk about this vision that I recently just had. It is kind of pretty disturbing, but uh, please bring out your Bible right now. I have the King James version, and uh, let you pause the video and hopefully go find your Bibles and uh, stuff like that. So let us go to the Book of Leviticus, uh, chapter nineteen, verse twenty-eight. And ye shall make, sorry, and ye shall not make any cutting in in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. Uh, I am the Lord. Let me see. Let me see. Let me, let me read that again. Make sure I said that right. Uh, Leviticus chapter nineteen, verse twenty-eight. Ye shall not make any cutting in your flesh for the dead nor print any mark upon you. I am the Lord. And the reason why I wanted to talk to you, the, the reason why I want to put out that verse is because we all know that piercing is wrong or getting a ear rings or to, a, to, a toe ring or a tongue ring and stuff like that. The reason why I wanted to uh, make this video is because the, of the vision that I recently have is the vision kind of it kind of disturbed me because i keep forgetting now how graphic these um graphic these visions are and i know the lord does not hold back at all um in this vision that i see i see a baby or maybe uh yeah a baby that's probably no older than two that was just running it looked like it was running away but the uh, the, the description of the baby was you know like how you see the flesh of a human? Yeah, I see the flesh of the baby. I see it had it had no skin at all. It looked like it looked like it was like ripped or melted off uh, melted off the body. So the baby was just running across, just running across. And I see this demon uh, was running or running towards it and was trying to catch up to it. And then I asked the uh, the Lord or the Father, uh, like, why is this baby here? Then I see an arrow like a very large arrow it was pointing at its ears it was like it was pierced and another vision that i had uh, at this on the same day um i see this i guess this child this baby was i guess it was just in his crib or those baby holders or baby holder strollers or whatever that they're called carriers sorry carriers baby carriers and stuff like that and the baby was in the courtroom the baby was in the uh, the baby was in the courtroom because I guess it it had uh, piercings on its ears and I can hear the Lord in this vision as clear as day. He told oh my God he told the baby this this young infant to depart from me. And when I heard that I was like, what? And 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 I couldn't hear what I was like. Wait a minute, hold up. Lord Yeshua told this little infant to depart from him. So this has to be serious. And I know that many parents are piercing their kid, probably, you know, they're, they're you know, piercing their kids ears and they're probably and they're, sometimes I guess their children are on the verge of death or maybe something happened to them. And. And. Okay, then I asked, and, and the Lord wanted, uh, either I asked the Lord or the Lord was wanted to talk to me, and he sounded very frustrated and angry because he had it to do this because he takes his word very seriously. He take he take take the word if you have if you wanted to, and he sound yeah he sounded very angry and frustrated that parents are doing this. So parents, and he and he's definitely going to hold you guys responsible. For the deaths, for the for this is for the deaths of your children for piercing their kids' ears, he'll hold you. And he also said that he'll also hold held you accountable for piercing your kid for piercing your kids' ears for those who are still alive. Uh, unless the, I mean, uh, please, parents, please repent for pier or trying to pierce your kids' ears, because the Lord, the Lord, the Lord uh, Yeshua, Father God's word is real. I do not want to see nobody. So you have no excuse now that you know this now. Do not, and I repeat, do not pierce your children's ears.
and it was saying to me, and it was just recently talking to me, it was like, I have to do this to the children that is in my, or in the lines of, he has to do this to the children that looks like him, that is in his image. So parents, I repeat, do not, whatever you do, do not pierce your children's ears. God is going to hold you a response, uh, accountable for that unless you repent and turn away from it. I know that, you know, it looks cute on your kids. Yeah, it looks cute for them demons. It looks cute for them. But it doesn't look cute to God at all. It doesn't look attractive to God at all. So, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. Let me know what you guys think. It's your man, Joe. May the Lord Christ Jesus, your shoe on and be with y'all. And the Holy Spirit and his blood. Okay.